I know I look crappy. I know my hair is not done. Mm, and I'm not wearing any moisturizer on my face. And I haven't showered in 24 hours. So, here's the reason why. Um, it's obviously still scary to find out like there is something in you that you don't know what it is. Doctors may not know what it is or to be actually do a small procedure to find out. Um, I can finally say I can relate to somebody getting the news of, you know, we have to do this because there's something abnormal on, on inside you. And that's exactly the letter I got back from the specialist of the sonograms. Um, where it says um, something abnormal was found in your breast. So this is my experience with the core needle biopsy. Um, a month ago they found a abnormal mass on my right breast and so they told me I obviously had to get a biopsy done and when I saw my surgeon she told me that it was going to be a core needle biopsy because there's different types of breast biopsy you can do, not just this one. Um, but the core needle biopsy, what it does, it extracts um, some of the mass from the lump that you have on your breast. Um, there's other procedures where they'll just um, they'll inject the needle in and they'll uh, take out the liquid if the mass is full of fluids. But I guess mine's it's full of mass. So um, I had my core needle biopsy yesterday in the early morning and to be honest it was a little freaky just because it was the first time I was in an operating room and it was a whole big deal for the hospital because they were treating me like if I was getting like an open heart surgery to be honest and I just and I guess to keep myself sane I kept making myself laugh and just literally laughing at I was as you can see now I'm showing you pictures of how I look literally um, at the hospital waiting for me to get my biopsy. I had full gowns on, two hospital gowns on, I had a hospital pants on, socks, hospital socks, and um, the hair net. And I couldn't wear any jewelry for sure, no piercings, no earrings, no necklaces, no rings, no bracelets, nothing with metal. And, and I had to take everything off. So, yeah, I was, I thought it was like overly over the top for me to wear all these things, but I know the hospital is trying to be extremely safe and not trying to get sued. Uh, so, they're very, very professional. Um, my procedure was supposed to, well, I was supposed to be at the hospital at 7.30 in the morning, but I didn't get the surgery done till like 9.00. And it only took like 30 minutes to be honest. They took me into the operating room and they put me up in the operating table. And uh, they started cleaning me up, you know, sanitizing the area. And, you know, they kind of put a like, not a pillow, but it was like, yeah, it was like a pillow. Like on the side of my back, so I could I could be like leaning towards this way, cause she was th the the surgeon was right here, and on this side of my uh, on this side I had a screen, which was black and white, just seeing the sonogram while she was like on with the ultrasound sonogram, whatever you want to call it. You can see inside of your breast, so you're not watching what she's doing to you, but you're watching what she's looking at, you know. Uh, but before all of that, she showed me the original uh, ultrasound pictures where they took my mask, which was really big. They told me it was approximately the size of an egg. So it was really important for them to see what it was. So they started cleaning the whole area up with that like brown liquid that with the huge um, cotton that they just cleaned, sanitized the whole area. While she was using the sonogram, she was looking for where exactly the places that she needed to put the anesthetic or where she was um, going to insert the core needle. Everything uh, so far was so good. The nurses were amazing. Um, you know, they kept giving me positive, like, phrases or thoughts. You know, you're going to be okay. This is nothing. You watch. You're just going to be out of here in no time. Um, 
so yeah she eventually they took an actual photo of before the procedure and then after the procedure um, of how the mask looked um oh yeah and before all of that she marked me here I don't know if you guys can tell it's now obviously erasing but with a marker she wrote the letter R just to make sure this is where she needs to do the biopsy not here but on this breast and it was on the side of my breast um, so I had local anesthetic because they don't put you down for this because it's not really necessary but I think if you ask if you want to be like a like a if you want to put a general anesthetic I think I'm not sure if they do that Honestly, you don't need it. If you're not afraid of needles, uh, I don't think you need it, honestly. Because you you're not watching what they're doing. You're fine. You just you can't move for sure. And but other than that, the whole procedure is fine. The only thing, the only part that really hurts is that when they put the anesthetic in your body, they put anesthetic literally all over this area. She wants to be extra careful and. Yeah, that's the only thing that really hurts. And it's just the burning sensation that you feel inside of your body running. That's the only thing that really hurts. Not really the needle going in your skin. It's the liquid. And, but besides that, she waited a few minutes. I guess she did the cut because I didn't feel the cut. And she was like, well, I'm going to I'm gonna count to three and then I'm going to insert the core needle what she did and I didn't feel the core needle going in but it felt pressure uh, like somebody something being pushed and yeah and then through the screen I could I could see the needle in my breast everything is black and white so it's not like you can really see blood or anything like that uh, but yeah and then she was first it sounded like a vacuum right like if she she was literally extracting a lot of the mass that I had um, on the lump and she stayed there for a while for at least good 10 minutes so my mass was the size of an egg probably there I could say and then by the time that she was done extracting and actually clicking the core needle because you click the core needle and then expands the needle expands literally across and that's where it takes mass from inside and by the time like my mass was this size of an egg by the time she was done is about this size so she took a, a good portion of it um, and yeah that was it when she was done she did a few she clicked a few times and then she was like okay we're done with the staple she put a special tapes on it too and she uh, bandaged me up obviously she first cleaned me up because I had all that brown stuff on me she cleaned me up she put the bandages and everything she's like okay we're done stay here ten uh, five more minutes then the nurses are slowly gonna get you up good luck Amy and hopefully you know she told me I have to see her which day to get the results etc etc and then she just told me take two Tylenols when you get home don't wait for the pain to kick in and then take two Tylenols when you go back to sleep obviously I said 24 hours and you can't shower for 24 hours so I was done they sat me back up slowly got me off the operating table and they put me into the recovery room they gave you, they gave you an ice pack and on the day of the procedure you have to wear a bra just so you can keep the ice pack in place with your breast. It, I felt a bit of pain later on the day that I had the core needle biopsy which was yesterday. I felt sharp pains uh, but it's it's bearable. It's not like a big deal. It's just sharp pains and they go away. So obviously you can't really do anything on the day that you get a core needle biopsy because you, you will have a small cut uh, but other than that I think it's fine I finally can shower today which I will be doing after I finish recording the video and yeah now I have to wait till next Friday to get results to see what it is you know they gave me 
three possibilities and one is really rare which is cancer breast cancer they say that girls my age don't get breast cancer and plus it doesn't run in my family so they told me not to worry about that option it could be a cyst it could be a benign tumor so we'll see what it is um but yeah i have to wait till next friday so to then i'll keep you guys updated I really think it doesn't matter what age you are, if you're 15 or 16 or if you're 20 or 30, still it's scary to just kind of find out there's something inside of you that is not normal. And like I said, they already told me it's rare for a 22 year old to get breast cancer. It doesn't run in my family, so they highly doubt it. And I really hope they're right. And, you know, I think the only thing that keeps me strong is my mom's been praying a lot for me. I've been praying, you know. My friends and families have been there for me. And they're like, you know what, it's no no bad news. You're going to be okay. And and I, I honestly think I am going to be okay. So for those who are getting a core needle biopsy done, this was my experience, obviously. It could be different for someone else, especially if somebody is scared of needles or if somebody's not good with uh, procedures like that or anesthetic. It could be completely different experience for you. Yeah, I mean, but overall, the the biopsy goes really quickly. You're only there for 30 minutes, and then you're out, and you're fine. You, it's like you can walk, you can move your arm. Um, just obviously the. <laughs> The only downside is that you can't shower for 24 hours and I I feel disgusting so I'm going to shower now. I have to take actually the bandages off to be able to shower and I have to keep in obviously the special tapes they have and plus the, the staples because when I see her next week she's going to be able to take those out. I guess my cut was a little bit bigger than the normal ones because usually people just get a bandage there and, and they're all set. But I got staples, um, I think maybe because my mass was larger. I'm not sure. Like I said, they took some, they took a portion out of my mass. So it's not just, they were just doing a biopsy. They were also removing some of the mass they found in my breast. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. I wish anybody that's going to do a core needle biopsy very good luck. You'll be fine. And thank you for watching. And oh, and thank you for like subscribing because I've noticed that only I, I am I only uploaded like seven to eight videos uh, doing the water fasting, which was great. Um, and I think I'm going to fast one more time. But thank you for the subscribing. Like my my video of my results and my water fasting results were <laughs> it got a lot of views. It has over 700 views. And I want to just thank the people that watched the video or liked the video. Um thank you. And for those people that are subscribed to my channel, thank you so 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 much because honestly, I don't think I'm interesting enough. Um <laughs> so I'm finally uploading this video. I just thought it was very important for people to watch especially girls or women uh, to watch if they're getting a core needle biopsy at least what I think it's important to watch other people's experience but not watch like the actual procedure on YouTube like honestly don't watch it it, it just freaks you out more it's not that big of a deal because you're not you're not going to be looking at it so yeah so again thank you guys for subscribing and liking my videos and see you next